Hello, my name is Jimmy Vegas and welcome to this, the 29th in a series of video tutorials for Unity 5. So this episode, what we're going to be focusing on is our inventory more and more. We're going to look at picking up the axe we originally made a couple of tutorials ago, that trigger script, and we're going to place it in our inventory rather than in our hand, so then we can open up our inventory and select the item and equip it. So this will essentially lead us on to further things within the inventory where we can pick up various different items, uh, for example, coins or keys to open doors or treasure chests or whatever. So let's get started. Firstly, I'm going to reactivate our inventory so we can see it right there. And what I'm going to need to do is we're going to import an image. So if we go to textures, right click and create a new folder and have this as inventory images and in here all I'm going to do is drag and drop this picture of the axe which is our weapon. It's just a quick uh, capture of the axe from Unity itself, there's nothing special about it, I'm using this as the image in the inventory. So in slot 01 right click uh, UI and add in a button. Um, in that button get rid of the text element, so if you click the arrow next to button and get rid of text Right click, uh, rename, and have this as item image. Next thing we need to do is we need to convert this image of our axe to a sprite. So if we click it, hold D to duplicate, let's then um, rename it as axim img1 underscore sprite. And then over here in your inspector pane, if you go to texture type and change it from texture to sprite 2D and UI and click apply, you'll know you've done it right when it has the little arrow next to it. So what we need to do is drag and drop that sprite image onto this button we have here. So you can just drag and drop there. So now let's zoom in and make our button the correct size. So we need it looking about there, I think. And I'm going to anchor as a stretch all around. Okay, so the way this is going to work is this particular, it looks like an image, but it is actually a button. It'll function just like a button. And what we want it to do when we click it is it opens up a sub panel where we want a little bit of information about the axe and whether we want to equip it or cancel. So if we go onto inventory here, right click. UI and another panel. Let's drag this over here, about there, and I'm going to shrink it a little to about there. And on here, I'm going to right click, rename, and call this uh, what should we call it? Something simple info panel. Okay, and in here, right click, UI, and let's add in a raw image. And let's drag and drop the axe image onto there, shrink it a little, and let's put it about there, maybe somewhere in the centre-ish. Okay, that looks fine. Uh, right click and rename, let's have this as item image, and then let's create a title for it within our info pane, so UI text and I'm going to put it up here and anchor it to the top right. And while I remember, anchor the image to the middle left. So in here, let's put um, Tomahawk Axe. Let's make it bold. 16. And let's make it white. And we'll set the alignment to the right. I'll expand it just a little. Okay, right click, rename, item, title. Uh, next, right click, UI. Let's have a bit of a description about the item. So some more text. Let's align it to about there, a bit smaller. And let's just have the text say something nice and simple. A small, change that to lowercase s, small, but effective axe um, 
against most creatures. And let's just expand that a little. Maybe shrink our image a little more. Okay, that seems about right. So let's have this, uh, let's keep that, we'll just have it as white text. Okay, uh, right click and rename, let's have this item desk for description. Now let's add in some buttons, so right click, UI, first button is going to say um, equip. So when we click this button we want to equip the axe. Oops. And now let's right click and rename to item equip. Let's shrink and put it in place just there. And while we remember, let's anchor the description to the middle right. And let's anchor the um, button to, yeah, let's do the bottom middle. And then let's duplicate that button, drag over this way, and we'll have this button just say cancel, I think. So, cancel. So you can obviously take a little bit more time uh, building up this little description box here, the info panel, um, item, cancel. Okay, so we have this all set up. Now, essentially what's gonna happen in this tutorial is we are basically setting the paving stones for how we're gonna control the inventory via scripting. So ultimately, the inventory itself will all be UI, but the behind it all will be a script which monitors and keeps track of everything in the inventory. So everything within this little screen here will change once we have more items in and once we click them. We'll be building a script to do that. Another thing we'll be looking at at some point later on in um, a couple of tutorials time is when we start picking up items, they'll appear in our inventory. But if we were to pick up coins first, we'd always want them to appear here in this first inventory slot. And if we pick up the act second, we want it to appear here and vice versa. So at the moment, I am just using this as an example, and as I say, it's, it's paving the way for where we're going. So next thing, let's uh, get rid of our info panel. So if we click it and then click the tick up here, which gets rid of it. The next thing we need to do is we need to create a script which shows that info panel when we click on our axe in the inventory. So to do that, let's go to our script and let's create a new folder and have this folder where we store all our inventory scripts. So in here, firstly, create, and let's have this as um, show info panel. Open the script up, and it's a real simple script with just one variable in it. And that, obviously that variable is going to be the info panel we've just created. So var info panel, it's going to be game object. So we're going to make a custom function. So function open panel, open close bracket, open curly bracket, and it's going to be info panel dot set active true. And close curly bracket and save the script. Told you it was going to be simple, didn't I? So the next thing we need to do is we need to drag and drop this script onto our item image. Make sure you do it on item image and not the slot 01. So onto there, on our button. What we need to do now is we've got list on empty, click plus. And on the object, drag and drop that object onto it. And then on no function, go to show info panel. And then we need to choose the um, one we've just written there, which is open panel. So now we need to drag and drop our info panel onto our game object in the info panel um, script right there. And I'm going to keep the axe um, active for now. I'm going to disable the inventory and let's test this out. So let's play our game. 
open up our inventory and click on our axe. And there we can see we have our little blurb right there. So I think before we go any further, what I'm going to do is just quickly change the color of these panels. I'm not quite sure I like them. So I'm just going to change them to a blue color and get rid of the alpha. So something like that. So let's copy that hex reference. And oops, press escape there. There we go. And we'll do the same with this one just here. So hopefully we can see the text a little bit more clearly. So let's try that once again real quick. Okay, yeah, so we can see them just fine. Right, so let's get rid of our info panel again. And let's get rid of our item image. But let's keep our inventory on just for now. So what we're going to need to do is ultimately we need to write some more scripts for the buttons that we have down here. But we'll get onto them in just a second. What we're going to need to do first is modify our axe script. So I'm just going to focus in on the trigger we have for our axe. So when we pick up this object now, we want it to appear in our inventory and not our hand. So we need to go to the axe pickup script that we wrote uh, last time. I think it was last time. Or was it time before? No, it was time before, wasn't it? OK, so in this script now, we don't really need to worry too much about what uh, means what in here. Because what we can do is where we've got real axe.setActive is true, fake axe.setActive as false. If you want, you can rename this real axe to say inventory axe. I'm not going to at this point, but it may be useful for you later on to make sure you know what's what. So if you do rename that or you don't rename that, make sure in this um, game objects declaration here, we put this item image right there. So now when we press play, just to double check this, our inventory doesn't display the axe at all. So let's head over, take the axe, and our axe is now in our inventory. There we go. So that's that bit out of the way. The next thing we need to do is work on them buttons in the info panel. So let's reactivate our info panel and let's make this item equip and item cancel button work. So head back to our inventory scripts, right click and let's create a brand new script and let's call this info panel. In fact, no, we'll just specify this is for the axe. So I'm going to have zero one underscore. No, do you know what? I'll just have axe um, info panel. I think we'll just have that to be honest. So let's open this up and again it's going to be pretty simple. Um, what we'll do is two, uh, two variables. So firstly it's going to be the info panel itself. Var info panel is going to be game object. Next one is going to be the axe itself. So var the axe game object. So in here we need to create two functions, two custom functions. One's going to be to equip, one's going to be to cancel. So let's have it as function item equip. And in this equip what we need to do is we need to do two things. We need to make our axe display in our hand and then we need to make the um, info panel close. So the Axe.set active is true. And info panel dot set active false. Nice and simple. So you probably guessed that the second function is going to be item cancel. Open close bracket, open curly bracket, and it's just going to be same as the other one, info panel dot set active 
false. Close curly bracket and save. So now this needs to go on um, the info panel right there. So when it's had a little think about the script, that's fine. Let's drag and drop our info panel on our uh, script onto the info panel, sorry. And then we just need to set info panel as that one. Find the axe on your first person controller, first person character, weapon axe. I might need to, oops, shouldn't have done that there. Um, so weapon needs to be made active on there. So now we need to head to item equip button, click plus, drag and drop the info panel onto there, no function, and go on axe info panel and it's going to be item equip. Then same with item cancel, click on the plus, drag info panel over, click on no function, axe info panel, and then item cancel. So I'm just going to make these um, a bit more visible, I think, just so I can see them a bit better. So you can take the time to work on that as much as you need to. So info panel, let's untick that. And I'm going to save my project now. Usually it's a good idea to save as often as uh, you can. So let's press play and let's test out this axe. OK, so nothing in our inventory. Let's head over to the axe. Let's pick up the axe. Inventory. Click on the axe and click on equip. There we go. And we now have our axe in our hand. The last thing we're going to do here is on our inventory. We need to perhaps have a little bit of text um, just beneath that says equipped. So let's go on there. Let's go to UI. Let's go um, text. And let's have this say equipped. I'm going to shrink it. I think I'll have it as. I'll have it as bright red, just to stand out. And I'm going to have it just uh, just below. In fact, I'll change that size to um, a little bit smaller. You can have it as whatever size you want. I'm just doing this as a quick example. So I'm going to have it about there. And right click, rename, and item, item equipped. I'm going to disable it. Next thing you need to do on um, the script we wrote here, function item equip, let's go a new variable and let's have this as item equipped. And that will be game object. And then where we've got here item equip, just need to set that variable as active. Item equip dot set active true. Save and now this should be the final piece of our puzzle. So we just need to set that variable on um, info panel. So item equipped, drag and drop onto there, and then let's deactivate our inventory. Save project and test one last time in here for this tutorial. Let's head over, pick up our axe, open our inventory, select, equip, it says equipped. And let's close our inventory. And we are done. OK, so we've set up the basics of working with our inventory. Um, this is going to lead on to many different things in the future. So next tutorial, we are going to build a little bit more of the main quest um, with some more stuff to put in our inventory, uh, perhaps a little cave to go into. Um, and we might look at um, maybe finding a wall that we can kind of destroy or something to get access to the cave, possibly. So we'll see, we'll see where it leads to anyway. So until next episode, you build up your inventory, you make it look exactly how you like it, and I will see you then. Thank you very much for watching.